Okay, we're gonna paint. Are we ready? Hi everybody, Heidi here, and I am painting a rainbow shamrock. I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope you like it. And we're gonna talk just a little bit about how you can paint something so easy like this, and then also potentially make money doing a paint party. So as you come on, please say hello. Let me know you're here. And what I'm doing is just putting some gray down first. And then I'm kind of making this, the background up as I go. So inside Paint Party Headquarters, we have this awesome traceable for you already. So if you're already inside Paint Party Headquarters, just know that's available to you and ready to go. Um, oh, did I hit my time lapse? There we go. Do you ever start your videos and then forget to hit your time lapses? <laughs> Hey, everybody. Oh, thanks for saying hi. Hey, Kim. Hey, Rose. Oh, so happy to see y'all. We have Sarah from Alabama. Hi, Sarah. Um, let's see who else is on here. Oh, my iPad fell. Great. Hold, please. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Good to see you. I have already have technical, lots of technical difficulties. Um, oh, man. I went all the way out to procreate. What the heck? Oh, it fell. I was going to have like a cool little time lapse going from over here, but I don't know if it's going to hold. Sorry, y'all. We really are going to paint. I promise. Hi, Gigi. Hello, hello. Okay. We are going to paint. We're about to paint a start to finish painting and then stay. Hopefully. I just wanted this other cool angle. <laughs> <laughs> what this other cool angle okay so um so what we're going to talk about today is um how you can paint something easy and fun and maybe use this money for some cool stuff okay so i know a lot of people have side gigs even if paint parties isn't your full time a lot of people have side gigs oh hi marianne i'm glad you're on here hello wanda hello oh i'm so happy you're on here we have access to the printable Actually, yes, everyone inside of Paint Party Headquarters already has access to this. So I'm going to try to freehand this. So wish me luck. Can everybody just say good luck and hope it, <laughs> hope it goes well. <laughs> it, should, it should go fine, but sometimes when we're, we're just going for it. Uh, but yeah, this is already, um, when you're inside Paint Party Headquarters, as you know, we have um, 15 new SVGs every single month. And um, those are so easy to use as full blown paint party ideas. So I'm actually going to do a background. And the reason I'm doing a baby wipe, and this is a little tip for your paint parties. Let me see if I can sit down and do this. Let's see if it'll, sometimes I like to stand and get in there with the paint. But um, basically a lot of times I'll get a baby wipe and have them do this because it helps the drying process and it helps them get to the next stage a little bit faster. So honestly, I'm kind of doing that too. I do have a really cool um, heat gun, but I'm gonna just use this for now. So let's talk all things paint parties. If you have questions, please ask, okay? I'm gonna talk about how you can start booking a paint party to maybe put something aside if you wanna do a summer vacation. Um, I know a lot of times my vacations were scheduled around me booking paint parties. And so I would go, okay, if I can book a paint party here, then I know that's gonna pay for something extra that I wanted to do. And something really cool, and one of our team members, uh, Marianne is on here. We have a link in the description that shows you exactly how to book a paint party. Um, and it works like magic. We actually call it the magic script. So if you wanna grab that, the link is in the description. Uh, Mandy, thank you for the good luck. It's gonna work, okay? All right, so dragon fruit and strawberry. Strawberry is one of my new favorite colors. And I know you're thinking, this is supposed to be a, um, uh, you know, what you call it? I lost my, my term for it. Dang it, what is it called? Shamrock. It's supposed to be green, right? It is, but I'm gonna add some like strawberry in here just because I love it. And um, let's see, oh, we have Artist at Heart Paint Party. She said, I used my PPHQ money for my birthday spa day. Oh, that's amazing. Um, let me know who in here. Oh, hi, Annie. Hello, hello. 
And let me know who in here is doing paint parties or thinking about doing paint parties. And I'm just using a palette knife. Honestly, I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet. <laughs> I'm just creating with you. I hope that's okay. I just want to create with you and have some fun and just kind of play. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a minute since I've, I've painted with you. And I don't know if y'all have noticed some of my reels that have recently been posted are actually Pixie painting. So I would put Pixie took over um, my reels. And so Pixie was doing some videoing. And so um, if you go to my reels, you'll see a cute little cactus that she was adding to. And she's really good at doing some videos. I was very impressed. So you'll see some of her painting on there as well. Oh, good. Marianne put the link on there. So right here, this is the link if you need to grab it, if you want to. Um, and it's in the description if you want to learn how to book a paint party. Okay, so let's talk business while we paint. All right, I'm going to wipe some of this off. I just want it to kind of feel abstract a little bit and kind of the part of, of making it feel abstract is just honestly having fun with it. So I'm using baby wipes and then I'm actually going to take this and again, I know abstract's not for everybody, but I just want kind of a cool background and I'm going to get this on the edge. We're about to put the rainbow and the shamrock on. But I just want to get this edge going, okay? So just getting this palette knife. You can probably do this with the baby wipe as well. But I love this sound too much, so I want to do that. <laughs> love Pixie and the cactus paintings. Oh, thank you for saying that. That's so cool. And oh my goodness, we have Pam watching from the doctor's office waiting room. Oh, well, welcome. I'm glad we're able to, to hang out together while you're waiting. Hopefully it's nothing serious. And while we're talking about, obviously, you know, doing your paint parties, having fun, making some extra money, I wanted to take a minute to remind you words are powerful, okay? Words are powerful. Oh, thank you, Angelica. She asked, how are you feeling? For those of y'all that don't know, I recently had a hysterectomy, <laughs> two, not even two weeks ago. So for those of y'all that have ever had one of those, if you have any tips for me and you don't mind sharing publicly, please let me know. I would highly recommend it. But um, yeah, the first week I thought I was never going to be the same. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'm never going to get my energy back. I'm never like, where's Heidi? I'm never going to be, be the same. And, um, and a few, like last Thursday, probably a week and a day in, I started really like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing the light. I can finally feel like I feel like I'm going to be a, a regular human again. But yeah, there was a little touch and go moment there for, <laughs> for about five days. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be the best thing. But good news is, is they found some really bad stuff with my appendix. So I got a twofer. I got my appendix taken out too. So I'm very, very happy with that. And if you're new to me, as you probably know right now, I overshare. I do. So I'm just, you know, if you're new to me and you're like, what is this, what is this girl talking about? Yeah, I'm a little bit of an overshare. So, <laughs> so welcome. This is where I teach you how to teach paint parties and make money doing it. And also I overshare a lot of my my stories and a lot of things that are happening. So yes, I'm feeling so much better. Thank you for asking. Um, let's see, Tessa says, I got my party booked for March 31st with one of our local churches. Not sure on the number of people yet. All right, Tessa, that's awesome. So make sure, make sure you um, get prepays. Now, with churches, I know a lot of times people sign up last minute, and that's okay. Like, I'm always prepared for that with my church groups. Um, but you want to kind of have a, a minimum. What you don't want to do is set up for 40 or 50 people and then only like 20, you know, show up. So be really, really careful with that. And um, Deanne, that is so good to hear. Oh, thank you. You know, I've heard that from a few people and I'm like, so, so grateful to hear that. That makes me very, very excited. <laughs> very, very excited. I think I've been in pain for so, so long. I feel like the surgery pain was, I mean, it was painful, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's definitely um, not as bad as what I've been going through almost every day. So I'm like, yes, this is definitely going to be going to be better. It's got to be better. Okay, so we're going to hit this with the dryer real quick. And this is a heat gun. If you don't have this, obviously don't bring this to paint parties. It's kind of dangerous. 
but it's very good to use whenever you're doing stuff like this. Oh, thank you, Cindy. I appreciate it so much. Oh, uh, you too. I hope you're having a good day too. Okay, we are about to paint this, so wish me luck. Hopefully it will turn out great. If not, all of you inside a paint party headquarters, you have a tracer, so you don't have to freehand it like I'm doing. I just wanted to make it bigger so y'all could see it a little better. So there's really no need like for your paint parties. You're obviously not gonna be doing this on a size 20 by 20 canvas. You're not gonna be doing that on that size. So don't worry, it's gonna be a smaller size, but I wanted to just have the room to make it bigger. Okay, so I'm going to be using Irish moss. Hold on, let me turn that around. Irish moss. And then this is a festive green. So I wanted to use this so that it could kind of be not only festive, but just a different variations of green for the rainbow. Oh, Angelic, I'm gonna be painting this rainbow shamrock. And we already have this inside Paint Party Headquarters. It's already a part of Paint Party Headquarters. It's one of our, every month y'all get 15 new SVGs slash tracers that you can use. So you can go ahead and grab it and use it for your paint parties. For those of you that are inside Paint Party Headquarters. If you're ready to try to book one of your own paintings, I highly, highly recommend you take the training that is in the description. And if you need the training, just say the word training and we'll get one of my team members. We have the Austin Marianne on here. She'll reply with the training. And I have, oh, there they are. My paintbrush is right under my nose. <laughs> right under my nose. Um, oh, the training is free. So you don't have to pay anything for the training. It's about an hour, hour long, but it'll teach you exactly how to book a paint party. And then if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, it's 47 a month. So we open the doors probably a couple times a year um, publicly. And so if you want to learn more about that, I would definitely, definitely do that training. There may be a, a fun surprise in there for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, since I'm not doing a tracer, is I'm going to freehand this. So wish me luck. <laughs> Hopefully this will, this will work to everyone's advantage. If not, we'll just have a good laugh over it, okay? All right, so I'm just going to kind of... And here is the thing about your paint parties. I want everybody to hear this. You do not have to teach freehand. All of my paint parties are pre-traced or tracers are brought because I want everybody leaving feeling successful. Like right now, if I'm if I fail in front of all of y'all, like it would suck. But I've been painting for so many years that I I'll get over it and I'll I'll figure it out. I'll be okay. <laughs> but if you had somebody pay you thirty five dollars to come paint with you and you're teaching them to freehand and they're just trying to have a you know a nice night with some calmness and just some fun and they're trying to frantically draw something they've never done before. It's going to be too, too stressful. So I always have my canvases pre-traced. And yes, it takes some work on our end, but our guests always appreciate that. Okay, so I'm adding some Kelly Green so it'll start to pop. I think I may have done the first and hardest step, drawing that little shamrock. I didn't want it to be crazy. Okay. Hopefully. What do y'all think? Does it look like a shamrock? You know when I concentrate when I get quiet. That's when you know it's getting serious. <laughs> it's getting serious. <laughs> okay, so we got our shamrock there. Now what we're going to do, and again, I just did the background kind of crazy. What we're going to do now is our rainbow. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, one of the rainbows, let me go ahead and start one so I can make sure I get the right and then I'll turn it so y'all can see it a little better. Okay, so I want to get kind of the right position and then I'll turn it where you can see it a little bit better. And if you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. Just put Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. I also want to say to all of y'all on Instagram, thank you so much for following me over there. 
we have been so facebook we have a lot of followers and the instagram has been a little bit trickier to grow the following and we finally hit ten thousand. so i just want to say thank you so so much um so if you are watching on instagram and you haven't followed us yet make sure to do a follow we um really really appreciate you i know a lot of times people um you know they may not want to join hand party headquarters or be a part of something but Every time you comment, every time you say something nice, all of that really, really helps um, people like me and even some of y'all that are also trying to grow your online business. So I want y'all to know how much we really appreciate a comment, a nice, a nice gesture, like just saying hi. It really does matter. So I just want to say a big thank you to that. Okay, so let me get these on here and then I'll turn it sideways so you can see where I'm at. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. I need a bigger one. This is going to be here. Okay, so that's going to be a bigger one. Okay, I think I can fill that in and then we'll make even a smaller one. Let's see if I can make that work. So this is where the tracer really, really helps. <laughs> and this is where the tracer really helps. And um, what's the name of the green? Oh, hello um, from Lucy or from Oregon. I was thinking LA for a second. And um, the greens that we're using for anybody that's asking, I'm using Kelly Green, Kelly Green, um, Irish Moss and festive green but the metallic the metallic festive green okay so we got that one there i do need to fit kind of a smaller one in here i may have made a little bit of a mistake right there but that's okay all right so what we're going to do now is i'm going to turn this this way oh that's fun <laughs> now we're really getting into it aren't we <laughs> let's see i got a mini projector for christmas and it has made life so much easier Definitely worth the investment. Yes. Okay. So I have a, a Kodak projector um, that helps so much, but you know what happened? My daughter stole it. So she uses it and she put a sheet up in her room and uses it to watch movies um, with her friends. So like they screened Wednesday. I don't know if y'all have seen Wednesday yet. It is so good. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Um, I think it's a Netflix series. Um, if I'm wrong on that, y'all just correct me, but, um, but yeah, so she's been like borrowing my projector since I bought it. So I think I got to use it once and then it's been pretty much Pixie's movie projector. I'm like, dang it. So yeah, I always have to go in there and remember, oh yeah, I could just project this on here. Um, and it can make things way, way easier. Definitely for sure. Whenever you're getting ready to trace, um, for paintings, a projector is great. If you're not ready for that income wise, you can always use just black carbon paper, which honestly I use all the time. And just because, you know, you can do it really quick and it's not really that big of a deal. And, um, but if you have the projector set up right, it's very, very simple too. Okay. So we're just adding this in. Let's see. Um, yes. Wednesday was so good. Oh my gosh. I loved it. Victoria says, oh, thank you. You're fun, positive, inspiring, and most of all, your awesome, real, true self. Thank you for, thank for, thankful for you when I'm blessed to watch you live. Victoria, that is so sweet. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I know it's been hard to um, try to come back and do a live since my surgery, so I am so happy to be here. Um, I was like trying to find all of my, my phones and stuff again to just kind of get, sometimes when you have a, a big surgery or something that happens, it's hard to kind of get back into the groove of just your normal day to day. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I have this painting I want to paint. I just need to get in there and get it going. Um, because sometimes it's really hard when you're trying to transition from, you know, taking off for, a, you know, it's been almost two weeks since I've really done like a, a legit live like this where I've painted. And so I really wanted to come on here and it's been, um, it's just been like, you know, one of those things where it's like, I can't do it. I can't do it yet. <laughs> so today I feel very energetic and very, very happy to be here. And um, Annie says, uh, my daughter also loves my Kodak. I know our daughters are stealing our 
art supply stuff. Like they're using it for other things. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diana. I appreciate that. That's very sweet. Okay, so really, y'all, this is a very, very easy painting to do. And this is a fun one to do for, um, you could do this for kids' parties, or you could do this for um, adult parties. And what you want to do is make it where they don't feel the pressure of it having to be perfect. So a lot of times, even on my paintings, I won't make them perfect. So when they see them, they realize. I remember doing a porch sign, and this is one of the porch signs I've recently done, but I've had in the past, this is one I, I recently done, you may have seen it a couple weeks ago, um, but I had in the past, and I remember teaching a paint party with the welcome one, and they were like, yeah, but it's so perfect on the stencils, and I was like, no, go look up close, and then they can see that it's not as perfect as we think it is, right? And so I want you to remember, like, as you're teaching this, you're usually teaching this to beginner people, to people who've never painted before. So let me know in the comments, how many of you would you say you're a really great painter? You're brand new, you're crafty. Like, what would you call yourself? You know, are you, are you crafty, but not an artist? Is using the word artist kind of freaking you out? Like, which, which one would you call yourself? And let me know in the comments. I want to see who in here thinks they're crafty, who in here thinks they're, you know, a painter, who in here thinks that they're really, really doing good. Um, oh, Angelica, that's awesome. And um, we'll send them to the link in the description. It's going to teach them how to book their first paint party. And there may be a little surprise at the end of that training. So definitely send them there, Angelica. That would help them out a lot. So let me know which one you are. And then I also want to Besides that, I want to talk about a few things with, but I made a couple of little notes. So besides the fact that you're, you're going to be teaching something fun and easy, you're also able to make extra money or put goals aside. You know, I, I love how, how Dave Ramsey has his like seven steps of what to do. And I think so many times we forget, okay, just go back to the magic script. Like, don't make it so overcomplicated. And a lot of times what I see people doing is they seriously make it so complicated and you just got to go back to the basics. When you go back to the basics, when I see that I don't have any paint parties on the schedule, I go back to the basics. I reach out to my current customers if you already have customers or I do what I teach you in that video. And then once I get a booking, I start exactly how I teach everyone, like start getting butts in the seat and don't make it overcomplicated. So what happens is when you do that, now you can go, okay, what if I have a paint party of 10 people? You know, after all your expenses, you're looking at about 290, maybe 280 in profit if you charge, you know, $35 a person. So, okay, maybe you want to go on a road trip. Maybe you want to buy tickets to a concert. Maybe you just need extra money for house expenses. Like when I first started my paint parties, it was honestly just to help pay for groceries. It was to help, you know, pay for our bills. But then as we started getting a grip on things and we started realizing, okay, we can do this. It became, oh my gosh, let's do a road trip or, oh my gosh, I want to buy a new pair of boots or I want to go on a cruise or whatever those dreams were that I used to think were impossible, I started realizing it was just about booking another paint party. And the reason I wrote words are powerful on my arm today is if you're always telling yourself you can't do it, Alexa has a lot of notifications for me. <laughs> Alexa, no. <laughs> so many notifications. Um, but if you're always telling yourself, no, I can't do it, well, guess what? You're, you're never going to be able to do it. You're never going to feel good enough. And we have Wendy here. It says she's an amateur artist. Well, great news, Wendy. You do not have to be the best artist. I am here painting for you, and I am not the best artist to learn how to teach a paint party. You're really throwing a party. You're, you're hosting an event. There are multiple paint parties that I teach that I never even paint at. I just tell the next step. I might borrow someone's canvas sometimes if I forgot to bring my own or last minute people signed up. And so that's part of it. You don't have to actually paint at your paint parties. 
Um, and that's one of the cool things I think, you know, everybody has their own style, but that's one of the things that people start to realize, like there's many, many ways to do this business, like many ways. Um, let's see. Oh, my green's not coming out. Hold on. Um, we have Angelica saying creative artist. That's awesome. And um, let's see, Nicole says, until I started crafting two years ago and doing tumblers, I felt like I couldn't even draw stick people. Isn't it amazing when you start practicing how much you can do? Um, Angelica says, I think I'm an intermediate artist. Awesome. Rhonda says, I'm pretty good. It paid for my college education. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good, Rhonda. That's amazing. Cindy says, advanced artist, creative and crafty. Oh, I love that. And um, let's see, we have Victoria. She says, I'm a mixture of both. Very cool. And then balloons and booms. Um, I'm sorry, balloons and blooms decorations. She says, hi, I'm Gigi. And I'm crafty, but did not do painting before. Um, and again, it's almost like paint parties are almost like um, a color by number. And um, one says brand new and um, very cool. So here's the thing I want you to know is that it is seriously like you're not trying to teach crazy fine art you're just having fun and so when you start to realize you're throwing a party and you get into that mentality and you remember your customers coming to you or are wanting to have a fun time they're not trying to i mean obviously they want to leave with something that looks okay and um, hey debbie how are you oh good to see you on here yeah annie exactly Fun art, not fine art, for sure. And um, you want to make sure that you're able to provide something that they're going to have success with, and it's going to be easy. And another thing you're about to see, this kind of transform, everything transforms in the last few minutes, okay? So you're about to see on my painting, too, everything's going to start transforming in these last few minutes when we're adding the details, when we're adding glitter, all of that fun stuff. And today I'm getting a little brave. Don't tell Bobby. I'm doing shake glitter. Okay. So we're in my art studio. So it's all good. But um, we are a house divided. So usually I'm using always glitter glue. And I highly recommend using glitter glue for your paint parties. But I want to get a little fancy with this one. So I am going to bust out the shake glitter on this one. Because I want to do something kind of creative and fun. Is that okay with y'all? <laughs> let's see if that's okay. Just put a yes if it is. Um, let's see, Angelica, I've reached out to three restaurants with the script and no responses. I was thinking of going in person. Do you recommend going in person? Oh my gosh, so many times I have actually gone to a restaurant, started eating, talking to the waitress, and then usually, you know, after about, um, you know, being there 30 or 40 minutes, I'll say, hey, have y'all ever thought about doing paint parties? And then I'll just hand them my card. Or if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you can hand them the lookbook. Um, and that is really a great way to, um, to like have people notice you and to have people really go, oh my gosh, this is something that we could possibly do. So yes, I actually have um, booked parties on the spot in person. <laughs> and I know a lot of times it's really nerve wracking for people. Um, but if you are like, hey, I've sent out messages, but my, the way I teach you in the training that is in the description is I teach you to send out five messages a day, every day to local country clubs, to, um, to restaurants, to um, women's groups, all of that for every day, five messages a day until, until you have a response back. So um, I know you sent out three and that's awesome, but I highly challenge you to, to do five a day. Um, let's see. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. We have, um, Wendy, Wendy on here. I'm happy you're here. And thanks for bringing her over here, Angelica. Um, let's see, Debbie, it's entertaining, super fun. It's so fun, isn't it? Paint parties are so fun. I, um, I'm going to get some black. I'm going to start adding some fun details. Yeah. I taught right before my surgery, I taught, um, two paint parties in a row. And one of them was a Paris theme. And here's why it's so fun. So usually I don't have like the extras unless like you're charging more. So for this Paris theme party, we charge $30 a kid, which usually for a kid's party, it's $15 to $20 a kid. But 
I wanted to just make it a theme. I wanted to go all out. So we did a Paris theme. And in this Paris theme, I've ordered like little beret hats from Amazon. And it was so cute. The parents, the grandparents, like they almost all stayed. Like they just wanted to have fun. <laughs> it was like, I don't know if it just brought them back to their childhood or what. So we had the parents and grandparents wearing the little beret hats. And um, we um, had little paper teacups that I got off of Amazon and we put Sprite in it. And so it was ice cold Sprite, but as we would pour it, we poured it from a tea thing that Pixie had. And then I would pass it to him and I'd go, oh, it's really hot. Like you need to blow, like cool it off, cool it off. It's really hot. Like we would make a big deal and just, I don't know. It just makes you feel like a kid again. And then the kids are like, is it okay to drink now? Is it okay? And I'd be like, I think so. Just be really careful. Like we'd just be really dramatic and really fun. And um, I don't know, like I, I don't think there's been maybe, and again, I've been teaching paint parties for 16 plus years. I don't think there's been, but maybe a couple of paint parties where I've left and been like, oh my gosh, that was a disaster. <laughs> Most of the time, my mood and my excitement is just changed. And for those of you that are seasoned paint party people, let me know if, if that's what you've noticed too. Like, I don't know about y'all, but it's something about getting in an environment where you're not thinking about your own problems and you're just serving other people that makes all the difference in the world. And so I can have so many things going on. For example, that was a few days before my surgery. And I could have been sitting at home, worried, sad, scared, all of those things. But I didn't have time to be. Like, I honestly didn't really get scared of the surgery until we did the pre-op, you know, a couple of days before. And then um, the actual, like, right before they gave me the medicine, right? Like, I didn't have time to be scared because I was busy. I was working. I was you know, having a tea party with a bunch of kids making money that I could use on something this, you know, this summer. And so I think we have to remember, like, a lot of times, you know, we make it so much scarier than it is, especially when you first start this. So if you're new and you're like scared, I'm telling you, once you do the first, second one, you're going to learn so, so much. And it really changes. Like, it just, I don't know, it just, for me, it's like, I feel like I'm going to be that 80 year old woman still teaching paint parties. I just, it's just too fun not to. <laughs> it's still work. I'm not saying it's not work, but it's just so much fun. Um, and you get to hang out with people and cool people always come. Yeah, Bobby's downstairs. So he definitely isn't watching the live or he'd already be up here asking about the glitter for sure. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if I missed any. Um, questions okay so i've only asked because i've seen that they've seen my messages and said they get back to me and they haven't heard from me so i thought i'd go in person oh yeah for sure if they said they would get back to you that's not a no so i would definitely go in person drop off the paint party lookbook make sure all your stuff is in there for sure and um, let's see carrie asked have you ever done a paint party with plaster cast items instead of canvas um, okay, so we do, and it's it's kind of similar. We do um, so many, can um, not canvas, um, obviously we do canvas, but we do so many ceramic paint parties. So I think that's similar, and let me know if it's not, but like the plaster casting. We do make and take ceramics. So right behind me, I have a whole attic space that is dedicated to all my ceramics. So I have three attic spaces in this art studio, which I'm so grateful for. So one is all ceramics and wood projects. And that's kind of like the whole paint party um, attic. It has like all my paintings, all my aprons, all my easels, all my brushes, like thousands of brushes in there, all of the stuff I need. So it's like a store. I can just walk in or if Pixie's doing a job for me, I can say, okay, Pixie, we're setting up for 20 and she can go in there like a store. Um, and then we have all of our stencils and all of our decorations and stuff we use to kind of spruce up the paint parties in the other attic space. So, um, so I would say yes, especially for like if you're going to do it as a make and take. Now, sometimes in the ceramic world, 
Um, that's kind of a no for people who are hardcore ceramic. I get it. But remember, what our business is, is again, we are here to do a two hour party where they make it and they take it or a two and a half hour party. So it's not about, again, an intense art lesson, an intense workshop. That can be something you can do, but that's a totally different thing than I teach. So I want you to remember that as you are um, coming up with your, your paint party stuff. We do a ton of ceramic trees and things like that but we literally just use acrylic paint on them. And then we put like a Mod Podge or a polyurethane spray. So it has a similar look as glaze, but not exact. So I know that's kind of a hot topic, but in the paint party world, again, it's not about serious art. It's about fun art. So remember that when you're doing these parties, that's what you want to think about. Um, Let's see, Demi says, I like to bring the fun and loving energy to my kids' paint parties. I turned totally nine years old. I know, Debbie, me too. And um, then I start slinging paint. It's so, so fun. Don't take it seriously when you get there. Oh my gosh, Debbie, I am the same way. And I can, I would love to be at your paint parties. I know you bring the energy. And um, let's see. And the ceramics you buy are already fired and made special for painting. Yeah, they're already, they're bis. And um, and I can show you real quick. More energy to do, more paint parties a month. Yeah, Gwen, if you're doing paint parties already and you want more energy to do more paint parties, I highly recommend hiring, and you may hear this, but I highly recommend hiring people to help you. And, um, Here's just a couple ceramics so you can see. So it is, um, it's already been fired once. So this is like a lantern one. And then this is after we painted it with um, acrylic paint. So again, they just put a tea light in this and it's just a ceramic. And then we put snow text. Snow text is so fun. But yeah, so it comes like this. So this is a gnome Christmas tree with the tea light. So it's already ceramic and fired once, so it's bisque. And then we use acrylic paint to make it fun like that. Um, but yeah, so what I recommend is if you want, if you want to do more paint parties, and again, as you're coming on, if you're new to me, please say hi. Let me know you're new so I can say hi. And then also there is a free training for you in the description you can grab um, that will help teach you how to book your first paint party. So it has a lot of great stuff in there. So make sure you check it out. I'm gonna add some hearts on here with this strawberry pink paint. I'm gonna try to make it really, really bright. That may be where my glitter is gonna go, <laughs> maybe. But Gwen, what I would say is just make sure that you, um, if you're not doing it already, hire out. So like when I get really, can you imagine me overbooking, right? <laughs> All of you, we're artists and creatives. Of course we ever book. And what I want you to do, and used to, I would never do this. Like I would work a party of 50 and work my butt off because I knew my family needed the money. Then I started thinking, okay, I need to work smarter, not harder, or I'm not going to be able to keep up this pace. So now what I do, especially having a daughter who's needing gas money all the time, and she has to pay for her own gas. So... I, um, she has a certain amount of hours she has to work every week for us. And so guess what those hours include? Getting parties set up, putting parties back to, you know, getting everything put back together, all of that. So when Pixie's working for her gas money, cause she, she needs to know, like she's going to go out in the world and think that food's free. No, it's not. Um, and so I want her to, to realize like, you know, it costs money if you want to, go grab a Starbucks. Not only the Starbucks money, it costs money to actually drive to the Starbucks to get the, the um, coffee that you want, you know? And so we um, have her work. I mean, she's been working a long time <laughs> for those of y'all that follow us. She's been working since she was about five years old. She's been helping. I would say helping, like, you know, doing little setups and stuff like that. So she's been in the paint party business a long time. And so um, the girl knows how to set up a paint party, how to teach a paint party. She can do all of it. 
And so what I would recommend is finding creative ways to get people to do the stuff like getting the brushes set up, getting the brushes washed, all these little things that if we do it all ourselves, it takes all of our energy. And then that way, when you show up at a paint party, of course you're helping, but you have somebody there that's, that's doing the bulk of the work. And then you can use your energy in the, the hospitality part of it. The, hey, how's it going? What are y'all doing? Like all the fun part of it where then you have people that are helping and they're able to um, put that energy towards getting everything ready, all of the stuff like that. So I want y'all to know it's totally, It's I used to think, no, I'm never hiring people. Like I need all the money for my family. And then I started realizing, wait, let me come from a place of giving where, okay, I'm giving people a job. I'm giving, you know, Pixie and other people an opportunity to make money. And it's helping me because now I'm not totally crashed. I could do, you know, two parties in two days um, without feeling like um, I've been hit by a truck because I can, you know, have the energy for it. So make sure that you're always like remembering that. And I feel like when you, oh, do you want to say hi? <laughs> Look at, we have your special guest. Gretchen's here. Come on over. Good morning. You want to paint with That's me? gorgeous. No. Congratulations your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so Gretchen's here all the way from Erie. So if you want to ask her a Facebook question, I'm kidding. No, no. 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 <laughs> She's like, no, I just came no. to say hi. It's gorgeous here. I'm sitting outside. It's 70 degrees. The sun is out. It's beautiful. It's supposed to be 89. Yeah, it's going to be hot. I know. I was like, I just want to hang out. This morning I had my coffee outside and then I was like, I just want to like work outside today yeah. like i think i was like i'll do my live this morning and then we can just work outside yeah i think that's good because of course when yeah. we get together we work i know <laughs> isn't that funny when you have like a friend that you're like oh i can't wait to work on our laptops together <laughs> that's really nice when you're in front of that. i know <laughs> i know you get stuff done and then you also get exactly. to go do fun stuff yeah. so gretchen is my facebook angel so if you're seeing this it's probably mm -hmm. due to her so thank Hi, you <laughs> oh debbie's on here let's see Let's see who all knows Gretchen. The comments are really small. I know. It's hard to Marianne. read it. Oh, Marianne's on there. Oh, Sherry. And Hello. we got Debbie. Uh, when we all work together, we all benefit. Yes. Yes, yes we do. <laughs> yes. It's so helpful, too, to um, be around people that understand what you're doing. Oh, my gosh. So important. <laughs> right? It is. I know. We have, um, for all of y'all that don't know yet, March 1st is a big date. Yay. Do you know what's happening March 1st? I do. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> so set your alarms. I, all the details. <laughs> I know. Do not say a word. Keep it. Any bribes? <laughs> no, she cannot I take cash. <laughs> She's going to put up her Venmo. Give me all the details. <laughs> no, keep it quiet. No, we have um, March 1st, all the, um, oh my gosh, all the Paint Party Business Live stuff's coming out. So, We've been working behind the scenes and I cannot wait to share it. And Gretchen, she she'll she'll keep it quiet. Yeah, I'll I know, keep it quiet. I know she will. All the good stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know it's so pretty. Is it snowing at your house? No. No, it's probably about 50 there. It's not too bad. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's not bad at all. Yeah. We get a lot of snow, but I think it's pretty warm everywhere right now. Yeah, it's so nice. I know. I was like, tomorrow it's supposed to ra maybe rain. And I'm like, no, keep it pretty. <laughs> Keep it pretty. It's not snow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So anything's good for me. I know. I'm like, I can handle snow for about half a day and then I'm over it. I'm like, that's enough. <laughs> okay, so we added that. Go back to work. I just want to say hi. Aww. Good morning. Thanks for saying hi. I know. She, yeah, we both kind of went our separate ways doing our work and then we meet back up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be outside in the sun. <laughs> I know. I'll be there soon. <laughs> oh, All right. Cool. What is it? This is a really good view. I know. So this is like another time lapse. <laughs> you should see her set up here. I'm sure you guys have seen behind the scenes, but there's a whole bunch of... Instagram's there if you awesome. want to say hi to them. Okay. YouTube's here. Facebook's here. And then we have another over the shoulder. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy cow. Yeah. There's a lot of... There's a lot. And then Pixie stole my laptop today or there would have been another wow. source. So, yeah. This is a great view right here. Yeah, I know. I was trying to... Like, I got it all... <laughs> Prop with paper towels, very professional. Awesome. Paper no, towels, great. it fell at the beginning of the live. It's so wonderful. Have fun painting. I will. <laughs> Y'all say bye to Gretchen. She's bye. headed off to do some magic, as she always does. This is cool. I'm just this. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I need to show them a new setup. Yeah, and um, yeah, and thankfully, since Pixie's like doing consistent hours every week, I was just telling them she has to do consistent hours weekly for her gas money, um, and her she likes to go shopping and stuff. So I was like, she has to keep everything organized. So Amazing. usually this whole studio is a disaster, but now that she's working every week consistently, it's like okay, go reset the studio every week. So it makes my life way easier, yeah, so nice. way easier. So if you have a teen, oh, they're all saying bye to you. Bye. <laughs> so if you have a teen and you can get them to um, help you out or when they run out of gas, they're going to want to eventually help you. Um, okay, so we're almost done here. Oh, good. Yeah, March 1st. I'm so excited. So for those of y'all that don't know what's happening March 1st, we will um, release the tickets to Paint Party Business Live. We'll tell you the location. Um, also, we are um, changing up some stuff. So it's going to be um, really, really cool. It's going to be very magical. And I can't talk too much about it other than it's great if you're wanting to network with other artists. It's great if you want to um, learn, you know, hands on the paint party world. Um, because it's a two and I always get messages like, oh, Heidi, you know, can we meet for lunch or meet in person. And I'm like, this is the best place. Like it's two and a half days together. So, um, so I'm going to tell you all the details on March 1st. We have, um, a really, really like, basically we release it to paint party headquarters first. You get an hour head start because we've sold out the past two events. Um, so we'll give you an hour head start before we release to the public. So if you are in Paint Party Headquarters, set your alarm for 10 a.m. Central on March 1st. Okay, so you'll get an email. Um, I'll also be live. And I want you to know right now, immediately when I start talking about tickets, you're going to hear a ton of people say, I have tickets. You can buy them for me. I thought I could go, but I can't. That's a scammer, always a scammer. So we, the only place you can buy tickets is from us. You can't buy them from anybody else. Um, and because of the cost of the event, if you've, um, if you've done a paint party, you realize, okay, there's a cost associated with the paint party, right? Well, when you put on an event like this with 200 plus people, um, there is a big cost associated. So we do not do refunds. And you'll see why on March 1st, because the price is very, very good. And um, so we don't do refunds. And we also have a really cool, I got to be quiet or I'm going to end up giving away some, some details. So um, anyway, so what I wanted to say is there is anybody you see that's saying, oh, I have tickets. Oh, I have tickets. Um, oh, Debbie, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. She says, best time of my whole year. It is one of my favorite things to plan. Like we plan, a, like when the other one's over, I'm actually during the event, I'm already planning for the next year's event. Like what did they like? What did they not like? What can we add more of? What can we take away? So I love hearing that, Debbie, because it's literally one of my favorite things. Oh, we have Connie from Denton on here. Yay. Oh, yeah, you better go. I hope so. Um, okay, so yeah, so that's going to happen. So you'll have an hour head start to get your tickets and then we'll release to the public. And then um, another thing I want to, to say is we do have like a very, very good price for getting them that first two days. So remember, if you're thinking about doing this and you're like wanting to see what it's all about, you can go get on the wait list at texasartandsoul.com and then go to Paint Party Business Live and you'll see it on the wait list. Okay, I'm gonna try. I need some more white. Okay, I'm just gonna add a few more details and then I'm gonna add some glitter. So again, this could be a Valentine's painting. You could change this and put a giant heart here. This could be a Christmas painting. You could put a big um, Christmas tree here. You could change this out for literally any kind of, um, any kind of season that you want. And what I love about doing paintings like this is your artists are going to have a blast. They're going to have so much fun and they're going to make theirs all a little different. And then whenever you leave, it just, I don't know, it just becomes beautiful because everybody has a little bit of a different take on it. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit more details and then we're going to add some glitter. Ah, what do y'all think? Have some glitter. 
Let's see. We have to do dinner again. I love meeting you so much. Oh, that's so cool because it looks like Sherry and Debbie did dinner. Oh, I love that. So much fun. So much fun. Yeah, that's the cool thing, too, is um, a lot of y'all um, meet, you know, during your off times. And we have something very, very exciting happening night one that I will tell you all about on March 1st. Okay, so let me hit this with a dryer. And then we're going to add some glitter because I want to spice it up a little bit, okay? And if you're watching on Instagram, thank you so much. Um, we just hit 10,000 followers, so I really, really appreciate y'all following. If you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, go check me out over there. That'd be awesome. And I know we got a lot of people on YouTube here. Very cool. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be a fun, fun time. All of y'all that are brand new, if you're just starting out and you're like, I just want to book a party so I can have some extras, you know, so I can make some money for extras or a road trip this summer, go ahead and grab the um, link in the description. That link in the description is going to give you the ability to, it's going to teach you how to book a paint party right away. Um, and for those of you that are like, ah, this is crazy. People seriously book them within the first week. You will be surprised how fast you can book a paint party. And um, people sometimes think that's the hardest part. And that's really a lot of times the easiest part is booking the paint party. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use, I was wondering if I had some glue right here. Let me see if I have any. If not, I'm just going to use some paint. Let me double check one other place. Cause you can use paint too. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's like a bunch of stick fast glue. Let me see, this is really not what, this is too robust for really what we need. We don't really need Alina's tacky glue, <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna use it anyway. Actually, I kinda wanna do the, I kind of want to do this instead, the shamrock. Ah, let me see if I can get it to work. Was that red or purple around the shamrock? It was actually um, pink. It's called strawberry. So it's strawberry. So I kind of did like just random grays and pinks on the background. My glue's not working. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. I have so much spray glue, but I don't want to, I mean, I kind of want to glitter the whole thing, but I would like to have a little bit more control. One moment, please. And now I'm getting stuck over here in my, all of my supplies closet and it's making me very excited. I'm going to show you all a couple things. I don't know if y'all have ever used puff paint but it's real fun and then i'll show you some other glitters too okay all right so we're just gonna use paint for it and um, so this is a fun enchanted shimmer which is really fun and um, right here is what i usually use at all my paint parties it's craft twinkles it's a brush on glitter um, and then that would right there this is like the go-to for all paint parties um, and then if you're on Instagram, it's called Craft Twinkles Crystal. And then this one right here is Enchanted Shimmer. And then if you've never used um, this, <laughs> I don't bust these out a lot because sometimes it's, you know, it's hard for people to use them. But this is really, really fun right here. Oh, that's awesome. You're painting the Spring Highlander on glasses. That Highlander has been so, so popular. And um, Debbie says, water it down a little bit and that will help your glue consistency. That would be great if I could even get it out of the, the thing. I can't even get it out of the, the what you call it. It's being very mean to me. Very mean to me, um, Debbie. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I don't like that. So I'm gonna paint over this and add glitter to it. So the glitter that I'm gonna use normally in a paint party setting, I'm just doing something fun for you. But normally in a paint party setting, I would do um, the what you call it, the craft twinkles, 
the crystal, this one. But for y'all, I'm actually going to use, I'm gonna show you in just a second. I wanted to make this a little bit brighter. I didn't like how that was showing up. It's so fun to have Gretchen as a little guest visitor today, isn't it? Usually it's just me. So I know sometimes it's fun to have a little guest pop in. It's exciting. Okay, so now we're gonna grab, so there's all kinds, I just have all kinds of random glitters like this. This one is a Martha Stewart glitter that I've had forever. So I'm just gonna shake a little bit of this on here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so we're going to do this in the art studio and try not to track it. Because when I play with glitter, like this is what happens. I just get it all over me and I can't, um, and I track it all over the house. So that's really why me and Bob are getting a little bit of a heated scuffle over glitter. Because he hates it with a passion. And I love it. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit of a darker one. So we're gonna hope that I put enough paint and it didn't dry fast enough, it didn't dry too fast. And then thankfully Pixie will need some gas money so she can help me clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's going to be a mess. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so this is what we got going on. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so to help myself and the sanity of my family, I'm going to take a canvas and dump it into there. We have a new painting coming up where we're painting something with some glitter like this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You know, when I start painting, sometimes I just don't know what's gonna happen. And then you do that and it's like magic. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if y'all could hear that, but when I blew that glitter, it went everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere oh my gosh it went all over this place <laughs> so what do you think i absolutely love it so this helped a little bit and i can recycle because i'm gonna want that again and then if you want you can grab any other colors you can i have some gold here you can do pinks whatever and you can put them in the hearts but what i wanted to do is show you let me see if it'll if it'll work the um puff paint Puffy paint, I know we're going over a lot of different techniques here, but um, puff paint is just, it looks like glue almost, but it just makes it kind of puff up. Oh, if you're watching on Instagram, we have that free training for you too. It's the link in my bio. And it's like how to book a paint party using the magic script. So don't miss out on that. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, a notepad, take some notes. Because so many people are doing side hustles. And it's like, if 44% of Americans are already doing side hustles, why don't we do a side hustle that we love? You know, why don't we do something that we really like? And this, if you're a cake decorator, let me know in the comments if you're good at decorating cakes. I am not. I had I, a total fail. One year for Pixie's birthday, we tried to make a whole like guitar out of cupcakes. We did it, but it looked like crap. It was so ugly. So, um, so if you're a cake decorator, this part will probably come way easier to you. But you could just have these little puff, these I got at Walmart, little tulip puff paints, and you can just go crazy. It's just little tulip puff paints. I also have it in green. I have it in all colors. This one's leaf green. Oh, that'd be fun, Victoria. Yeah, definitely. I know that's the thing. If you're brand new to teaching paint parties, teach with a friend, you know, grab a friend open up a bottle of wine or something and say, hey, let's do this. Let's do something fun and just try it out. 
Like I think sometimes we think, oh my gosh, we gotta be perfect when we first start. That's a bunch of baloney. I mean, look at how much I jacked that up. That line was not cute. Not cute. Okay, I kind of want to glitter everything, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I got to refrain. Okay, so let's recap. Basically, I have lost the lid. So I don't, oh, there's my lid. Okay, good. I don't want to ruin these. Um, so basically, um, what I wanted to do when I came on here was just kind of hopefully inspire you to teach your own paint party. And again, if you're in paint party headquarters, we already have this for you. So this is ready to go trace. So you don't even have to free draw it like I did. And I kind of um, like the background, but I kind of don't. I, I kind of think I might want to do the background gray and um, something like that. And um, so remember, as you are um, going through this process, if you're wanting to try to have a side hustle, which Remember, 44% of Americans have a side hustle. Um, it's really smart to have something in your back pocket that you could do, even if you do this once a month and make a car payment or once a month and put that money towards a road trip. Um, once a month, put it towards your kids' you know, activities or whatever is important to you. We all have different you know, ways we want to spend our money and different things that are meaningful to us. And um, so however you want to do that, and again, I just want to show you all this glitter because it's making my life so happy right now. Um, but I wanted y'all to know that um, it's fun and easy and you can use this for, for extra stuff. And then as you start to realize like, okay, I teach a paint party. The other day we had someone post, she taught a hundred and I think 15 people. Um, we have, you know, one of our other um, members, um, Susan, she teaches school events and she'll teach a hundred plus 200 people at a time and when you start to realize like oh my gosh yeah i can teach 10 people and make a car payment but i can also teach a hundred people and pay a mortgage or go on a really cool vacation like the potential is insane and i think people think because it's art and it's creative that it's not the potential isn't there but I want you to remember your, your words are powerful and what you're telling yourself, okay? Your words are powerful. If you're telling yourself that you can't do this and you can't, other people can, but I can't, you're right. So I want you to really this week as you start to talk to yourself and um, as you start to, you know, don't listen to yourself. We're always going to be telling ourselves negative things, right? If you listen to all the thoughts that keep coming in your head, it's negative. It's negative. So don't listen to yourself talk to yourself, tell yourself you can do this, try it. You know, we had somebody post just the other day, I did my first party and I learned and she listed out all the things she learned. I had people inside Paint Party headquarters that, that have been so nervous to start, but I promise you, once you do one, once you teach the Paint Party, you're going to learn so much just by doing. And what happens when you start to actually take action, it's like, all of these possibilities and all of this potential will open up for you. And I am so excited to see what you do with it. Paint parties have changed my life, <laughs> changed my life for so much good. And I'm so excited for you to, to see what you can do too. Um, let's see. Um, Victoria asks, oh, and Debbie says, it's perfect for retirees um, to add to your fixed in income. Yeah, for sure. And definitely, I know there's a lot of people too that are just wanting something part-time and on their own schedule. And Victoria says, should we need to get the business LLC done first or after we know we can do it? And what I recommend is just do a guinea pig party. That's what I call it. It's just a practice party with some friends and family. Um, maybe grab a couple of friends over. Um, like I said, if, if you like wine, if not tea, whatever, get a Starbucks, I don't care, whatever it is, whatever you like to drink. And just paint, you know, just paint and have fun and then use the magic script. The, the link is in the description. It'll teach you exactly how to do that and then try it, see what happens. But I'm, I'm so excited. Then once you do that, then you can start going the other route, but you want to see if you kind of like it, you know, like I know, <laughs> I know there's been many things like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do this. And then I go do it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it was awful. I hated it. I never want to do that again. That's the same thing with paint parties. You want to make sure that you really actually like it. And remember to give yourself grace. You're not going to be perfect at first. You're not going to have it exactly timed out. You're not going to have everything perfect at first, but you can practice. You can get better at it. You can add glitter. Glitter changes everything. <laughs> I 
I didn't love this painting until I added glitter. Now I'm in love with this painting. So anyway, remember, it's not about fine art. It's about fun art. Grab the link in the description up top so you can get the free training right now. And then um, please let us know if you have questions. Very, very excited for all that you're doing. And I hope you had fun watching this. All right, I'll see you soon.